To help us understand the Doppler effect, we need to visualize sound. In this animation, each red line coming from the black dot is actually 1,000 sound waves. The animation was made so that we can figure out the frequency striking the ear because the ear is one second long. All we will need to do is push the pause button and then count the number of lines that are striking the ear to determine the frequency being heard. For example, when I push the pause button, we count one, two, three, four, five, six lines. And since each line represents a thousand waves, that means in one second, 6,000 waves are striking the ear. So the frequency from this sound source is 6,000 hertz. What is the frequency coming from this source? There's only one line when I push the pause button, so the frequency must be 1,000 hertz. Okay. Now what if the source of the sound, our black dot, is moving as it generates sound? What would it look like? This animation gives you a pretty good idea. Notice how the frequency lines bunch up in front of the moving sound source and spread out behind the moving sound source. We replaced our pause button with a photo button. So let's take some pictures as the sound source passes by our listening ear. We replaced our pause button with a photo button. So let's take some pictures as the sound source passes by our listening ear. In the first photo, as the sound source is approaching our ear, we count five lines, which is 5,000 hertz. In the second photo, as the sound source just passed by our listening ear, only four lines, or 4,000 hertz. And as the sound source travels further, the ear only hears two lines, or 2,000 hertz. So it should sound something like this. As the sound passes by the ear.